So when we feed something, always the kids say, let to see us, bringing free ice cream, and you see that they change us. And it's really beautiful for us to do things like that. Um, these are the outlets that basically who's waiting on the product currently. Um, while we can't reach these outlets, it's due to mass production, we don't have funding, we don't, we're working on what we have. But we come get there. I'm sure that um, 25th of this month we're starting with Rockstar Cafe, which we wanted to come into the place to prominent. So ice cream for the being in prominent is going to be a huge, I've not that bad because um, 90% of Mitchell's Spring shops at that moment and Mitchell's Spring has about 1.5 million people that's besides Kaya and the surrounding areas which all have a link to Mitchell's Spring. Um, these are the international public that we've attracted to our house in Mitchell's Spring. We have, well, we've been working currently, we are still working with Coffee Bean Room, the tourist company people come by them on the cave flats, guiding some joints, and our place is an establishment where they must pass, and they always come there, sit down, hear the story, want to taste the ice cream, and when they leave there, they are always by it. So it's really awesome for us to do something different for Mitchell's play, where we can get people and tell them the actual story, so in the culture, Tell them about our lives and how things are done here and not read these things in papers and see what these These are some of our clients, international, local, people from school. They, they're all excited about the product and when we pitch up it, at, at where they are, that's, that's always a price, you know. So, in addition to this, um, going forward, asking for the plane was offered by CPUT, the food science and technology lab to develop and do research uh, to uh, perfect our product basically and develop more products. Um, so they want us to also develop a functional food with fiber substance that they have given us, which has more fiber, nutrients, proteins and all these things that the body needs. So we're working with, it, with them on coming up with something that we can uh, put out to the market, which they will find the market for. Um, in addition to that, we rebrand basically our logo. So we didn't do that this before. It had a table mountain, phone, dripping down, but I did not talk. This is Mitchell's play. So all the little shapes you see, that is the actual shape of that place. So you will see Portland, if you look on Google Maps, that's how Portland look, that's how Bacon Valley look, that's how Los City look, and so on and so on. And this, like indicating the flavors, so you will see blueberry, chocolate, and that indicates what the flavor is. Um, and this is basically how the product looks, uh, and I have some of it available in the back, so if you guys want to have a taste, yes. feel free. Yes. 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 I'm 
Zania. I don't have calculations on the income. However, with income, I'll generate most of my profits to sales and CDs. Lose because it's a disadvantage area that we're living in. The expenses will be approximately 15,000 rand per month. And then for financial needs, I know there are institutions such as Kula Enterprise and Steda that support um, new ventures, entrepreneurs in the new ventures. I, myself, as an entrepreneur, will contribute positively to society by creating jobs. And then I will encourage manufacturers to make use of sun drying, to, um, sun curing to dry tobacco instead of burning, as burning um, causes Under the category I have in the idea, which is student residence for the South suburb. So student accommodation is supposed to be affordable. However, the property owners take advantage of the scarcity of student accommodation and charge high prices, which then renders which then renders the introduction for free education. Now, what is the point of free education if you do not have accommodation? Students from background of poverty, parents based with unemployment, low income cannot afford accommodation. And most of the students come from low income homes or based with unemployment. And most likely, the students they drop out of school, they find themselves in debt, or sometimes they move to cheaper accommodations that are unsafe for them and they end up spending more money on transport rather. The struggle for student accommodation is growing rapidly in South Africa, and according to statistics, approximately 2.5 million students are 2.5 million students enrolled for a tertiary institution, but only 11 percent of the students actually get accommodation. Now, we all know the whole purpose of accommodation in general is to is to provide the sense of belonging and security. Now that is where my idea comes in as the Royal Residence, is to provide uh, the sense of belonging to students and accommodation. And we aim to achieve that through the six factors that influence the choice of accommodation, which is location. The location of the accommodation should be in close proximity to the campus. The price should be affordable and it should be within the range that investors can pay. Because sometimes, this is what happened in my case, I found funding, but then the accommodations were way too high. And it was a struggle, I had to move from one accommodation to the other. Moving on, the third is security. Security is very important. You cannot stay in a place where you feel unsafe, because then it's traumatic for the student. The living environment must be good, the facilities that will be provided by the accommodation and quality service. How will this business contribute positively to the society and environment? So this business will contribute positively to the society by creating more job opportunities, and when people have more job opportunities, it means that they have more money to spend and more money to send the children to school, and then they will grow the economy. And then how will this uh, business idea contribute positively to the environment? The, the use of the solar get the use of solar geysers will reduce the greenhouse uh, gas emission. Thank you for the opportunity. Business is a uh, Fort Sunfield. Uh, it's a video and content creation whereby we produce uh, uh, videos, we do music videos, uh, anything that is. Um, the company I established it last year, which is 2021. What I've encountered in my community is that there's a lot of unemployment. Uh, people my age, young people, they are unemployed, they were sitting at home doing nothing. So basically, what's happening, we, we end up going to drugs. We don't, like, we, we don't focus, we don't think there's anything possible that we can do. So now, especially with COVID, so we basically abusing people after we do drugs and get into abusive relationships and stuff like that. So we picture
features we can help to demonstrate that to take it out of the, of the system, we put it in motion pictures. That's where my camera comes in. So with that, I take whatever content that is happening in the neighborhood and just write it down and take stories. I write the stories myself. After writing the stories, I also do video graphics as well, the companies which do uh, video, production, video production as well, which is where I learned how to do this. So now, deciding to, to, write, to start up my own company, it was actually bad, because I knew that uh, being out of job was actually not a good thing, but as a young person was motivated to do something in the future, I decided to start my own company and do what, what I was then. So basically now how this is going to change the community is that I'll be able to take young people and train them to be videographers. I'll train them to write scripts as I do. I'll train them to become actors because with motion picture you get a lot of, um, of jobs in it. The, like if you're a lawyer, you have to sign contracts so you are actually needed. So if you are an admin person, you also need it. So that's what I'm bringing to the community. So those young people who are unemployed will now have a chance of doing something. So um, I also do trainings. Uh, recently this year in March, um, I, I, I matched up with uh, two young business persons, which one, one of them is doing uh, marketing and editing, which is uh, MZ Graphics. And the other one is a sound engineer, uh, fire entertainment. So those two guys, me and them, we came across together and then because I'm a, I'm a video content creator and they are sound and marketing engineers. So we came together and decided to start a podcast called YF, which that's youth from the boot. So that also deals with development of young people, which is also looking at entertainment, your academic maturities, uh, your entrepreneurship. So those are actually the things that encompass what this Projects also. So what you see on this machine is a project that I was working with while I was still in Johannesburg. So before COVID. So this is a cast which was uh, doing a production called Uzuko. The Russians that the that is the cast and those guys. And uh, I was doing uh, directing there and I was also doing video graphic for them. And this is the wire vision I'm talking about. So within this wire page, we're inviting young musicians to bring their own music to our content so that we can be played, play them as a background music as well as we do when the podcast is finishing. So part of your production, you can introduce new musicians and introduce them to music. Okay. Yeah, so that's part of the solution to the community. You need to build up your portfolio. It's a very important thing to do. So I'm sorry, I know a lot of people in the film, film industry and I've seen a lot of people with rise and fall. That's the reason why I decided to start the podcast with other guys. That way I put myself in the market. And then with this upcoming film that we're going to be doing now, that's also going to put up our new heart. So with the film and the podcast, I'm putting myself out. I know it's not paying, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to charge people for something that they don't even find me out. Obviously, you consume content for the but now,
sound engineering, you have to give them something else. I think if you are familiar with filming, you know that there's uh, film festivals. Those are you take your quality to the festival and then you find fun out there. So that's where you get your first financial capacity. Oh, okay. So if you take your film now and practice in the film, then we know that you can take your film festival. Okay. And then the festival, that's where people go, business people go and watch and they say, oh, like we can invest in it. That's when we start making money. But realistically, what do you think, how long will it take to see some money coming in? Uh, I'm consuming it based on social media. We can put it in a film on YouTube and then depend on the views. Because YouTube is based on views. And algorithms and what people want to watch and what they like yeah. watching. So it's a very difficult one to get into. To get yourself the best equipment, to get yourself the best star, in terms of you being able to deliver your dreams. Okay, everyone. There's a lot in this. Here's the logo, uh, which was established four years ago, uh, but it's, now it's a registered, uh, I think it's, here, uh, it's a year and a half registered now. Yeah. So what I do, I'm, I'm a photographer and also a videographer. Uh, so I take pictures and videos uh, for people, for events, events like weddings, uh, birthday shoots, uh, single shoots, and uh, any gatherings and uh, and uh, same time photo shoot, you see. And also, uh, these are my products that I'm working with. Here's my camera and my uh, and my uh, and my printer. That's what I work with. Uh, firstly, uh, I'm also a student from uh, from College of Cape Town. I do art and design. You see. I'm a professional farmer, you see, I have a qualification in farming, you see, which I started at Modern College, you see, that's where I grew interest in business. So I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, it's my passion, you see. So the reason why I'm doing this is because of, I want to create jobs uh, for, for, for the youth and also create opportunity for myself because I have also have experience in the, in the, in the working environment, you see. But to me, that's not actually, uh, it's not working for me, you see, to be an employee. <laughs> uh, so I prefer to do things, you see, to generate my own income so that I can uh, to uplift the economy of the country. Uh, so this, this is my product that I started with. So I started with the Camel Canon uh, Mark, uh, Mark II, it's a 5D. Uh, I used to be a DJ, but I've exchanged it, you see, so that I have exchanged, uh, so that I can be a, uh, take pictures, so this, this is what I do for a living, you see, so and also I pay my own fees with this, what I'm doing, you see, so I'm, I'm paying for my own fees, no one is, uh, is uh, supporting me, you see, so and as far as uh, uh, don't support me, because uh, I also I already have an existing penetration, you see. So I wanted to upgrade my skills, you see. So I want uh, I wanted to do my things to 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 to, uh, to, to, to work for myself, you see. Uh, so I see myself maybe in five years time traveling around uh, around the world, you see, if it's possible, but I think yeah. So what uh, those, uh, what interests me in this uh, opportunity is because I saw it on Facebook uh, under the College of Cape Town and I saw Ellen Gray. Ellen Gray is one is, is whereby also I also have an investment in Ellen Gray. I did open the investment. So I said, oh wow, Ellen Gray at Cape, Cape Town College, so this thing it works, you see. So let me take my chance and, and apply because I also do I also have my investment there, you see. Under this company, you see, because I didn't, I didn't know about any investment up until I, I did, I did it. Then someone told me, no, uh, there's this investment 
that is getting great. So you could, if you, if, if your, your business is doing great, all your money can put it here on the uh, you can invest it here. Then I did that. So many people. Thank <laughs> you. 